In this video, I will show you how to download and install OptiFabric, which basically allows you to use Fabric and OptiFan at the same time. You might have some performance issues while using Fabric, so OptiFan could help solve that for you. To do that, you will need to exit Minecraft and go over to your browser. After you have gotten to your browser, select one of the search boxes and in there write OptiFabric, then press the enter button. Then once you get redirected to your search, open up the CurseForge website, and once you get right here, navigate to the files section, then look for the exact game version of OptiFabric that you want to use. For me, it's 1.20.1. .1. This is also the latest version currently, and that might be different for you in the future. Make sure to note down the version that you're downloading because you will need it further down the video. Once you find your version, navigate to the right and press the three dots, then press download file. Then you will be redirected to this website. Be careful about clicking on the ads on this website. They are not the download button, they are just ads. And then you can open up a new tab, and in this type, write OptiFine. Then press the Enter button, and open up the website at the top. Then when you get into the website, go over to the Downloads button at the top, and you can press the Show All Versions to find older versions if you plan to use them, or for me, I'll use Minecraft 1.20.1, because I downloaded the 1.20.1 .1 version of OptiFabric. Then press the mirror button. The versions of OptiFine and OptiFabric must be the same. Then press the download button. And then open up a new tab and in here write Fabric Minecraft. Then press the enter button and open up the link at the top. Then you will need to go over to the installation section and press download here. Once you get here, press download for Windows if you're using Windows, but if you're using other operating systems, just press this button. I'm using Windows, so I'll press that. And you will also need to download the Fabric API. To do that, press this button right here, and you will be redirected to CurseForge. The API helps run most of the Fabric mods, that's why we are installing it. Go over to Files, then you will need to find the exact same game version for Fabric API, the one that you used for your other mods. So here it is, 1.20.1, .1. I just press the three dots right here, and I press download file. Once everything has downloaded, we can close our browser and go over to the file explorer. Once we get right here, go over to the downloads button and drag out all of the files we just downloaded to our desktop. Now after you have done that, you first off you will need to install Fabric, double left click and open it up. And once you get right here, make sure to select the exact same Minecraft version that you chose for the other mods while downloading them. For me it was 1.20.1, .1. this might be different for you. Then make sure the Create Profile section is checked at the bottom and press Install. Once the installation is finished, you press the OK button and now run Minecraft. Now after you open up the Minecraft launcher, just navigate to the left, press this button right here, Select Fabric Loader and press play. After we got inside of Minecraft, in the bottom left you can see 1.20.1 slash fabric. That means it's working. And now we can close Minecraft. After we have closed Minecraft, we will need to add all three of these Java files to our Minecraft folder. To do that, either press the search button in the bottom left and write run and open up the application at the top, or just press Windows key plus R, and in the run prompt write percentage sign, add data percentage sign, and press the enter button. Then look in the Minecraft folder, double left click and open it up, and look for the mods folder. The mods folder should be automatically created as soon as you run Minecraft with Fabric. But if it isn't, you can just right click, then go over to new, and press folder, that way you can make a new folder and name it mods. Then open up that folder, and now you can take the other three files we downloaded and drag them over to this folder. After you have done that, you can open up Minecraft once again. And we are back inside of the Minecraft launcher. We make sure to select Fabric by pressing this button and selecting Fabric Loader, then press the play button. If you get this issue like I just did, just close Minecraft, go back to CurseForge and download an older version of Fabric API. Then go back to the Minecraft Mods folder, remove the one you already have, and paste the one you just downloaded. Then you can relaunch Minecraft with Fabric once again. And after I did that, everything is working perfectly. As you can see, Optifine and Fabric are both in the bottom left. You can go over to Options, then Video Settings, and right here you can play around with the settings of Optifine. And here I am inside of Minecraft. As you can see, everything is working. If I press F3 in the top left, you can see Fabric Loader slash Optifine. That is it for this video. 
Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.